afternoon, you lovely lot. Good morning, good evening, good whatever it is, wherever you are across the globe. It's lovely to have your company on what is this Tuesday afternoon here in the UK. And we are here with a masterclass, which is all about box making. Now, whether you want to make a little treat box, a little gift box, maybe you make your own little bath bombs, your wax melts, your little chocolates, you want to pop them in. Well, these are going to be the perfect demonstrations to be seen so that you can do exactly that when you're at home. Maybe you've not got your hands on the products as of yet. Well, boy, we've got an incredible collection, which happens to be a pick of the day as well, which we'll go over in a lot more detail just shortly. What I do want to say is, please, when you're across on the website, check out our up to 70% sale. Now, that is in celebration of our beautiful Jan, who's celebrating her 60th birthday today. So we've put together a big selection of mixed media items. And it's not all necessarily what you would think. There is some. 3D embossing folders. You're going to find things such as glitter paste. You've got up to about 20% off on those ones. There's masket sheets across there. You're going to find some cosmic shimmer. There's acetate. There is mount board. The heat tool's got 20% off. The heat and foam mould's got 20% off. Have a look. It's all there for you to uh, Google app when it comes to the website. .co.uk.com or .eu. Of course, what you can do once you've done that or before that, do check out Shop the Day. That's where you're going to find everything from Masterclass and, of course, Launch Party later on in the day. And I say we, and that's because, of course, I am here on this side. We're back together again after such a fun and quite informative wake-up call on many, many different levels. And it is, of course, Debbie. Debbie's back with me for the next couple of hours. I thought you were, I thought you were going to say about a fun, informative um, lunch break. The lunch, well, well, there was that as well. <laughs> All sat around there, putting the world to rights, we as you do, as you do, and enjoying a nice bit of food at the same time as well. Uh, yeah, box making special. So we're going to take everything that is in that showstopper and we're going to literally just bring it all together and take you through a little journey um because it's a master class of course mm -hmm. that's what it says oh, wait a minute, that one there there you go that's what it says on the screen i will get my finger the right way always looks weird when you do it because you try to and it's like but um, it's not there but it's it, is there. There. it is there it is there uh we are going to take you through a little journey and we're going to show you um, items that are from the whole of that collection uh from the lovely and i do love this box die i don't beautiful? think we use it often enough so we're going to take a little walk on that side we've got some concertina borders that i'm going to take into card making we've got uh, shadow box dies in there as well that you could actually just frame and hope put your on your home decor pieces or take it into your card making as well um those boxes the um roll-up boxes the picnic boxes whichever one that's the only one that i haven't done a demo with the picnic boxes um however we will find some nice samples to show you what that looks like and then my favorite the prism great, and you saw that? me do in wake up call the prism singular this is what it looks like when it's all rolled up and creates the most beautiful gift box um, that you ever did see. So I've chosen some nice, come with a little bit of a masculine-ish yeah. kind of feel. Um, but yeah, this is all coming up in our masterclass. Two hours, mm -hmm. seems a lot of work, but we do do a lot of things here, Blue Peter style And so you absolutely, I've got a really nice treat Look what I did there. Uh, treat uh, with a box special because we've got some amazing treat boxes in there as well for you to, to go through. And Craig's going to go through all with you while I get ready and get set to take you through these next two hours. So grab yourself a drink and buckle up because we've got a great show lined up for you. We do. And before you do anything else, Debbie, we've got the result to go Ooh. when it comes to wake up call this morning. And the result, it goes into number four. Ah, oh, my birthday card for Jess. Do you know, I must have known. I must have, must known. have known. Must have known. Uh, but yes, so uh, that one is the winner um, from Wake Up Call. Wake Up Gosh. Call, yeah. I know, we could call, yes, so I'll go and put that to one side um, because we have got to do the day we vote do. as well. So I'm going to get ready um, and set to start with. In fact, I just don't know where to start now. I will I'll let think you decide, it. yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll have over. a think. Yes, because we're going to go over the, the pick of the day, which happens to be, of course, all about the Masterclass. We've got Rachel again back on the social for Masterclass. Sarah Brown is saying, hi, everyone. Sorry I missed the show earlier. 
do not worry, do not panic. You can always go back and watch afterwards. Please don't do it while we're live, that's pointless. Watch the live show and then go back and miss the watch the one that you missed. She says, uh, never fear, I'm here now. Hoping you're all well, sending loves and hugs from Melbourne, Australia, and a special help to Debbie and Craig. I, and all the CCTV family. Well, hello to you. Mary Beth Doyle saying hi everyone from Minnesota. We've got Carletta saying good morning from Arkansas. Chantelle Jones is saying hi there from 2J, 2J Australia. Barbara R. Hello is saying hello everyone from Indiana. Deborah Zen saying hello from Defiance, Ohio. And uh, Sarabi Mom is saying good morning, Debbie and Craig. Well, good morning to you. But there's been a masterclass, anything that you want to know or you want to ask or you want to check when it comes to the box make. And then, of course, just send your comments in. You can do it either on Facebook or YouTube and our Rachel will send them through to us. If there is just anything in general you're wanting to ask or say, then do that as well. There is the details along the bottom. But what we are doing, as I say, we're going to be having a look at the pick of the day, which is all about the masterclass, essentially. Now, it does say box making seven piece. Now, let me tell you, it actually gives you 108 pieces. You're going to get some templates as well. Now, when it comes to the pick of the day, you are also going to get your double points too. So double points on the pick of the day. It is 24 hours only, so uh, keep that one in mind. When it comes to this one, you've got a saving of 60%, just over 60% on that today's price. Before I show it, you're actually saving £129.93, or for you guys stateside, you're going to be saving $148.65, which is just wow, absolutely wow. If you are platinum, that then comes down to £64 or $76. Or if this is your first order after joining Club Inspire, you can take advantage of that 20% of your first order, which means, of course, you are going to get that at the purple price. What I would say is, when it comes to what I'm showing you within the pick of the day, you do have the option to go for them in bundles across on our website. However, you start to tell up. If you were to go for each bundle separately, that would then essentially, that would, it would cost you, uh, uh, next to £12.45 or $12.81. Uh, $12 so essentially, that's also what you're going to be saving when it comes to the pick of the day. So between the saving you're already get, you're getting, the saving by going for it on that pick of the day bundle, plus you are going to get your double points as well on that pick of the day bundle. So keep that one in mind. Boxes, great, exactly as I said at the start. And as Debbie was showing you, we've got different boxes when it comes to this set here. We've got a couple of different ones as well, you'll see in a moment, like the framed eyes set. But this one being your picnic, got to be one of my favourite picnic treat boxes. Now within this one here, you can see you've got the actual worker die, but then what you've got is all of these decorative dies, these mats and layer dies, these decorative dies within the panels there, on the top, on the side, that's all there included. You can be using these as standalone if you want to as well, you don't have to work or use them in uh, coordinating with the actual boxes, use them as standalone. So you've got the picnic treat. You are going to get the template too. So what that will do is that's then going to enable you to turn four of these into a fold out box. It looks spectacular. So you're going to get that one too. What you're then going to be getting is what Debbie was showing you a moment ago, is the prism box die. Loads of dies within that one there. So as uh, many of us will call it, either kind of like the Toblerone or the It Holds Four Cabris Cream Eggs as me and Debbie once figured out on Crafters TV. But you've got all of these panel dies too. So a six by four card or even a slimline card or a bookmark or a tag. Use these in many different ways or use what you've already got at home. That one's included too. Then to create that roll up that Debbie was showing you, you've got that template. So that's included. Then you've got your roll up treat box. So that was also the one. That was the one that Debbie was saying she didn't have a demo with, but she showed you the finished example. Look at all the dies that you've got there. So again, you've got panels. This one here, any of your small sentiment stamps are going to fit perfectly onto that one there. You've got your mats and layers, you've got your swirls as well as your butterflies. That's included with the actual template 
which creates the roll-up. So that's your three boxes. So that is one set across on the website if you just want to go for that one set. But what we've also got, now this is all, everything I'm showing you here is in this pick of the day price that you're seeing just now. Your four by six, this is your shadow box die. This is giving you 21 dies in total and it enables you to create exactly that, a shadow box. Now, whether it's going to be on the front of a card front, whether you're going to have a sentiment in the middle, like the example on the front there, maybe it's going to be a photo, it could be that if you want to, anything that you want and you've got your decorative in cut frame dies as well so if you want that little bit of decoration die cut if you want to do ribbon threading you can do or you can leave it actually plain if you want that's entirely up to you but that one's included as well then what we're also giving you is your ornate box die. Now, this was the one that Debbie was showing you right at the start there. Now, with this one, it is so cleverly done because it's 18 dies. But what you can do is you can make a four, you can make a five, a six, a nine, or is that an eight, and a 10 side box. You've got a template there as well for the lids if you want to create the lids to go with it. So this is such a versatile die for you to then use. What's lovely with this one as well is you can make such a substantial size box and only use your junior or your midi because it's going to fit through it, but you can still make a big box. But that one's included. And then we've also got our concertina frame dies talk about versatility when it comes to the different frames that you can do because where my finger is there that is your corner and then what you've got here is these inner panels so you can extend your frame higher or longer if you want it to be if you just want to go really long if you want to do dl if you want to eight by eight you can do that just by choosing how many of these inner layers you choose to use super simple to actually fold together that one is called the vines, and then you've also got the lace as well. So same concept, but completely different designs. They work absolutely beautifully as they are on their own, but if you do want to then mix and match, of course you can, it's entirely up to you. Score lines are done for you. There is an option on our website if you want to go for just these ones, but again, thinking of that value there, if you go for that whole pick of the day, that's everything that I've showed you. Yes, it's a seven piece, however, it works out it's 108 elements in total when it comes to all of the dies. You're going to get that at just over 60% saving. If you are to pay in that today's price, you're going to be £80 or $95. But as I said before as well, you've got that saving at £129.93. Or for you guys stateside, it is £140. My eyes have gone there. £148.65. But even better if you're platinum, which comes to £64 or $76. You'll find them on the website, which is on that shop the day, crafterscompanion.co.uk.com.eu. And you will be able to see these featured in past shows that you can have a look at when it comes to our YouTube channel. But let's have a look at them up to date. Let's see the incredible things that Debbie can be doing with them when it comes to the box making. And I love, I'm going to start with the concertina ones. Okay. Because even though this is a box making special, you're going to transform all of your cards, yeah. all your projects with these beautiful dies. Um, and they can be in any style of your card making and they can be perfect for all your flower form, your form, your decoupage as, as well. But would you believe that from the same set that you can create different things as well beautiful box frames these would look lovely absolutely beautiful in uh, home deco pieces mm -hmm. look at this though look at this is this one of yours Craig god that is beautiful I don't think absolutely. so absolutely it's got no name on I really would love to give some uh, accreditation to whoever it was that designed that because that is beautiful it's probably one of our lot to be fair, mm -hmm. uh, but absolutely stunning. Um, and showing you why, in terms of your box making, that these are included in there, because it creates that dimension and they're very, very easy to use. And then of course you can elongate them as well. So you can, depending on how you use them with your, because you get in your corner, you get, so your corner is two by two. Mm -hmm. Then you've got your two by two piece on the three by three piece. So you've got options to be yeah. able to extend, elongate, and then of course take it as big as you want, um, which is why I think these have been so popular exactly. over the time they're so easy to use as well so I'm bringing in the lace one this is the lace design this is going to create your corner piece that's going to create your two inch piece that's going to create your three inch okay. piece and they really are very very easy to use now I'm going to use both the corner and the three inch and I'm not going to bother with the two inch but as you can see 
You've got your full detail of your, uh, your gorgeous uh, design mm -hmm. and then you've got some score lines in there as well. So you're not even having to work that out, Craig. It's all done for you. Apologies, but I've got one of those You've got another again. wonky mat, haven't you? Uh, every time. It's like the tape pen and the wonky mats. They follow me around this building. Um, I think it's lost its legs. Yeah. Yeah, I think the legs have disappeared off there. I fixed one just before I had uh, my week off. And yeah, it I think to I'm going to have again. to fix it at some point because otherwise George is going to keep saying in my ear, Debbie, Debbie, your mat. I know, I could hear him in Debbie, my ear as I was speaking. Yeah. like, Debbie, can you sort your mat? It's because it just, it just knocks and moves. Now, this is a thin metal dice. Uh, so uh, with regular thin metal dies, it's a combination of your plastic shim, magnetic shim and your other cutting plate. E, Craig, I've been away that long from home. I had a chance to play with me, me Gemini 2 properly you, you've yet. not, no. I can't wait. It's going to be here soon. Yeah. Are we allowed to say? Are we allowed to say when? There's me talking about it. I don't even know we're allowed to talk about it. Yeah. Coming soon. Coming very soon. Yeah. In fact, if you know me and you follow me, you'll know. If I said it's on my daughter, my granddaughter's birthday. Ah. It's on my granddaughter's fifth birthday it's launched. Mm -hmm. Not forget that one in a hurry. No. <laughs> but yeah, and uh, I'm not here. I'm not here because uh, I'm taking some time off to go and celebrate in oh, style be lovely. with a gorgeous girl. That will be lovely. I know. She rang me up again. She FaceTimed me. Nan, nan. Because oh. I haven't seen her for over a week. Because first time she rang me, well, last week, crying her eyes out. Nan, nan, I miss you. I miss you. And then, and, and I told you, do you know our favourite phrase at the minute? Um, she, tells, she tells us that she's going to blow work up. Okay. Don't worry, oh. guys. Don't worry. Yeah. Don't worry, she's only four, she's only four at the minute. Um, it's just the way she th says things. And in her head, she thinks if she blows work up, Nanan can't go to work. And then I said to her, well, if you do that, love, I can't, I can't, Nanan can't get you any presents. No, oh, oh, no. Or Christmas. Or take, take you to your play centres and things like that. So, so she, come, she calms round there and she comes down a little bit. But yeah, that's a little saying. Yeah. That's just a little, our little four-year-old would Yeah, work. exactly, I know. And, yeah. And they then always she'd... change their tune when they find out that they won't be able to get presents. <laughs> Especially if it's anything to do with the birthday. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, she's uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be launched on her birthday. Yeah. Uh, now, you can see, and I've used Centura Pearl. I've used a beautiful, and I'm going to say, if I remember rightly, it is my Centura Pearl, um, the Snow White one. Okay. So, and you can see that lovely um, effect. All of them, though, have got their score lines in. This is when you're going to need a bone folder, because what you need to do then is what we call the concertina, or, as I call it... Mountain Valley Mountain, mm -hmm. and I, I'm no doubt you do the same, Craig, I as do. well. So we're just manipulating that first score line into place, and then you bring it back on itself. So this is when you're going to create the mountain first, then the valley, and then we're going to come back down, and we're going to create the next mountain. So Mountain Valley Mountain, and it creates this little like accordion style. Or a W, so as I can see w, right clearly yeah. there. And then you just repeat that on the other side as well. So I'm just, for, not forcing, what's the word? Manipulating it into that score line and then finishing it off with the burnish. So get your scoring tools and burnish. It makes a difference when it comes to popping it together. Have crisp burnish lines. And so now you can see how that will fit together, creates that corner piece. Okay. Super easy, super so simple. Easy. And we'll put the glue on there in a second. Because then what we're going to do is, with our edge one as well, is repeat that process. So if I, in fact, I'll tell you what, I'm going to make it easy for myself. I'm going to follow the line. And because I'm using Centura Pearl as well, um, Centura Pearl is a, a great cardstock, but it's sometimes that little bit tricky mm -hmm. So um, to, to manipulate it into place because of the coating. So I'm just going to come down and do that again. Uh, and I always manipulate first and then put the score line mm. in. I don't know about... What was that? Oh, oh. I know we've got a bit of rain outside. Is that a bit of thunder? No, I, I, to be honest, I think that's John in the next studio. What is he doing? But yeah. Is he limbering up? I think he's, he's doing... I, I think uh, Lee, uh, Leanne's doing a little bit of filming later on. Is she? Uh, for the Gemini 2, which incidentally Rachel is saying, yes, it has been mentioned when it is launching here on Crafters Phew, TV. thank goodness for that. So, yes, it may be not quite 13 days and maybe not 15 days, but maybe in between there. <laughs> The second day into me holiday, I love it. <laughs> 
Now, literally now, you can see that I've got the two pieces, the corner and then the edge. And this is when you can add, and you can add quite a few pieces in Craig, so you can really, really elongate it. You can make these as big as as small as you want. So if I just pop them side by side, I'm not, I'm not going this big, but this is how you would look at it. You could really elongate it. So this you is can. how I broke it down yeah. to give you choices. If we'd have given you um, just a really straight picture. Got the noisy neighbours to I know, do, just think it's saying, tell them to pipe down. What on earth is going off in there? Um, but yeah, you can. You've got the choices there to be able to um, make this as big or as small as you absolutely want. Now I'm just going to come in now. Now again, choices. Do you want to use a red liner tape or do you want to use our fabulous? wet glues or do you want to use our tape pen i'm going with a tape pen option okay and i'm just sticking down the corner piece so you can see how that accordion still is and still fits really nice and simple could not be any easier not going to stick that down just yet but i'm going to manipulate the rest because i have got quite a few here yes. that i've already done some scoring on as well so you're just going to continue that because i'm going to have a little bit of a square shape going off including on my corner so i'm going to get on my corners and stick all those pieces down first craig I it's think the so versatility much. with these ones, as you were just saying there, Debbie, you know, whether you want it uh, longer but, you know, shorter in height or if you want it, you know, higher but it's short in length there, you know, if you want to go in one way, you can do If you just want the corners, if you just want the actual frame strips without the corners, it's opened up for you and your projects, yeah. whatever size it is you're doing. And then, of course, within these ones here, it's, ama it's amazing to think that the projects that you can make, which essentially you can do just using a Gemini Mini even, yeah. because they're going to go through the small ones, which actually leads on to Chantel Jones is saying question well question to me I'll send it to, to Debbie although we'll both help you out what size machine do you need for the bigger box dies so the bigger box dies in the um, the show showstopper collection. Yeah, so it'd be like yep. a picnic. So you and... will. So for the bigger box dies that we're going to come on to, you will need your large machine, your A4 regular machine. Yep. Um, if you're meaning these, these will go through your. In fact, I'll have to give you the measurements because I think if I remember rightly, yep, this needs to be because it's a three. It, it's the three and a half by. Yeah, so these would go through your junior. junior. These wouldn't be able to go through your midi. Um, so anything from a junior midi side. Mini, Debbie, not midi. Yeah, I said Anything mini, from a midi to midi. a junior upwards, yeah, absolutely. So I'm just going to put my last one piece together, Craig. Okay. Um, and that's just my last corner piece. And I'm just making sure I sandwich it in between each other. Um, if you find it a bit difficult, it means you possibly haven't scored it properly or you haven't burnished it properly, which I think I'm having a little bit of difficulty with that one because I don't think I did. Um, and this is only because I've been prepping these at home. Mm -hmm. uh, so let me just come in. There we That's better. That's you got better. it forming there. Yeah. Evelyn is saying the only thing missing in my box die collection are the frame dies. Check out the website. You can get them if you want to. The best value is going for that whole pick of the day. But if you just want the set of uh, die sets on their own, you can absolutely do that. We'll go over a couple later on in the show. Now, this is how I'm going to construct mine. So I'm going to have a nice square piece. So I've used some matching on a card base. I've used the same uh, snow. In fact, if I remember rightly, this is not snow white, Craig. This is the... Um, Oh, Craig, what's the double-sided one? Uh, oh, um... Oh, have, 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 have. And silver? Have, 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 no, not no. silver. Oh, ivory, no. Oh, my God, it'll come to me. I'll, I'll remember, I'll remember. Uh, but it's got the inside as well as the outside. Um, it's double-sided. It's the beautiful... No, it's the A3, uh, Nicola, because I use A3 all the time. Um, oh, my goodness me. Do you know when you can't remember the name and the colour? And I, do you know... When I were in store, I used to rattle them all off mm -hmm. all the time. Um, it'll to, come to me. I'm trying to think. It'll yeah. come to me. I was going to say Snow White, but I don't think it is. There is Snow White, isn't there? There's Snow White and then there there's is. the Ivory. Snow, it's the Snow White. Yeah, the Snow White is yeah. a hint of silver. Or yeah. Snow White with a hint of silver. For the double-sided, there's only two options, though. Yeah. For the double-sided one, there's only two. Is it Fresh White? Fresh White. Could be the Fresh White. Yes. Yes, it could well be that. Yeah, thank you very much for that help there, Craig. Oh, my God, Craig, I'm going to have to sort this out because it's driving me mad. Uh, now, I'm going to come in and now I'm going to stick that around. So I've used, uh, this is Wildflowers. 
at the paper pad um, and I'm just going to sit those now now you can if you want to make it nice and neat you can use little strips that you could put your strips around the outside and then you could match that on over the top and so that they could sit on so that if you do go a little tad wrong it doesn't really get noticeable and um, so and I've cut those strips down to the half an inch size so it kind of frames around the outside as well Craig so yeah. you could do that if you wanted to let me make sure I've got those right because I did it on both sides that's it um, and that's just to sit those on too so it makes it nice and neat and and ties it all in however you could also sit them inside but for me it's a bit of a faff mm -hmm. uh, so I'm just going to put them straight on we're just going to go straight in and straight on um, so I'm going to use my tape again but again depending on your um, glue choice of glue you could use your finger lift tape you could use your um, oh let's think Tacky glue? Tacky glue, yeah. Yeah, uh, let's have another thing. What else could we use? You could Craig? use your red liner. Red liner, yeah. yeah. Um, all purpose? Yes, you could actually. You could use your all mm -hmm. purpose. Um, personally, for this particular style, I wouldn't use my all purpose. Um, you've got to leave it to dry and set. It, That's takes, it, a little, yeah. it takes a little while to do that. Um, now, I'm just matching it up and going around the outside, which is why if you do want to make it nice and neat, um, we say to put those little strips on, and it's just so that it ties it all in inside, but I'm not going to worry too much um, on this particular occasion. But, uh, yeah, and again, I could just go in straight in. Actually, do you know what? That'll probably be easier. Go right along, yeah. Yeah, I think that'll yeah. probably be easier. And it's good to see that because in, with these ones you get instructions and it does step you through exactly what Debbie was saying, doing that strip and popping it on the inside. But if you don't like doing it that way, if you find it difficult doing it that way, it's always great to get the instructions, but then you do it the way that you find easier doing. Yeah. Do you know, yeah. it's entirely up to you. Exactly. It's like, exactly. I, it's like I say with the adhesive. I know that we do glue school and there's a glue and adhesive for certain things, but if you use a glue in a different way, you're not going to get the glue police at your door. No, they're not going to come at the door banging on the door, do you know what I mean? But uh, we're just there to give you the, the best advice we can and then it's up to you to use them in whichever way you want. Yeah, who's the glue police that's going to come out? Mm. <laughs> the days of police. The person who we learnt them from? Oh, oh George. did you hear George then? Said did they you hear stick him? you in jail. Oh my days, groan. Mm. They might hold you up. Oh, do you know? They're getting worse. They're getting worse. Yeah, they are. I thought we had the dad, daft, dad, you know, the daft dad jokes when Ben when was Ben's, in. I know. Not when, not when George is in. Not when George is in. We're not going to have those, are we? Ben's rubbing <laughs> off on us. That's what it is. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> oh dear. So I'm just going to stick all of those pieces down now and I'm going to, I, I am going to put my little strips on, on the inside and that's just to keep it all nice and neat as well. But yeah, um, I'm just going to grab and I think what I will do is I'll grab my wet glue now for this part and that's just to stick all those down. Right, so that's literally how you how put, how you put your piece. It's a very, very easy to achieve mm -hmm. um, that look um, entirely. And again, I'm just wanting to neaten up the frame, but I find it a bit fiddly sometimes, so I prefer to do it afterwards. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to come in with the wet glue. And because I've got wet glue, I've got time to be able to move, move it about. manipulate it. it with the wiggle glue, we call it. And it gives it that nice little neat frame. Can you see now? It if does. I lift that up, it gives it that nice neat frame. But I've got time to push it into its place, um, which is what you wouldn't get with um, your other glues that grab very quickly. Um, so I'm going to do exactly the same with this one as well. Lynn uh, Blackledge, hashtag go live. Aww. Granny on YouTube is saying, I'm playing with my Gemini too, just now, Sissy Hastings on Facebook has been waiting on this demo. Yay, just got my dies yesterday. Awesome. You'll be able to recreate what Debbie's doing. Yep. Samantha on YouTube said actually really good. You know, so if you've got your glass mat and maybe the, the little feet or that have come off, if you manage to get the non-stick mat that we have now got, that's a nice thing just to pop down Ooh. and stop it moving about. It's a really good, good tip. Uh, our Rachel is saying, yeah, fresh white cardstock. Thank you. Debbie, she went and had a look. And then Rachel's also saying, even if you go to, to jail, I'm sticking with you. Stick it. Sticking with you. Sticking oh, with you. Oh, no, these jokes, they're getting worse. They are, aren't they? They're they going to are. make an appearance in Dad, what is it, Bad Dad Joke Book 2? I, ca I can't even say it. Bad Dad Joke 2. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, book two. Coming soon. Pre-order yours soon. now. Coming soon. Coming soon. I wonder if... Uh, oh, oh, that's a thought. Ask our lovely Lynn if she's got a book, because Ben was sending her a book. Because um, she joined us last week on uh -huh. the Craft Along. Um, so I wonder if she's got her book. Right, I'm just going to lift this up just so I can see it now, because I need to do it by eye, Craig. It's always again. difficult over the top. And that's just to put it all into uh, into place. Yeah, no problem at all. And then stick those p p pieces down. And that's, that's the thing. So whether you're going to be using your flower foreman, maybe you're going to come in with your nesting dies, of course, to make a centrepiece. Maybe you just want to have them on a little photo corner. And these are great for scrapbook pages because they fold flat as well. You know, the concertina down. So if you are wanting to add that accent frame, lovely way to do that too. And then as you can see there, if you want your square cards, if you want to do it five by seven, a different size, you can absolutely do that because you've got those inner join panels that you can then choose to use if you wish to do so. And then, you know, as Debbie's doing with the Centura Peril, but it could be your linen card. You might do your inky backgrounds with our new duet ink pads and then yeah. start to cut them out as well. Yeah, absolutely. Now, I'm just joining mine up at the top, Craig, because I've realised I've stuck them in the wrong place because I'm such a dafty. Uh, and I want to stick that down. So I'm going to just try and man uh, manipulate it back in because while it's wet glue, I'm going to take them off because I, I meant to put them on that panel, the inside right. panel. Um, and that's just so that your panels stick down mm -hmm. onto the top. Um, so... If you just give me a second, I'm going to do that and get them off before it actually sticks it all down. Because that's because I was talking and twittering away and forgetting I'm putting it on the wrong side there. Yeah, no um, problem. Thank you. Because we, we've much. actually got, what we'll do is we'll have a little recap of that pick of the day just shortly. But let's have a look. We've got an Ultimate Pro bundle here. Now, the one that I've got just happens to be in front of me, which is the, the US version. But uh, if you just go across, of course, onto your website, you're going to be able to get the one that you want. Although I know many of you states I do like the UK one but the US one is what we'll get questions on so before we go back to Debbie this one being your ultimate pro so you are going to be getting your free boxer board 25 sheets of your Centura Peril card which is A3 in size we'll show you and you're going to get the tape pen as well now let's have a look at the ultimate pro now I actually used it yesterday within launch day so you can always go back have a look there or of course as I said before on YouTube your work desk in one when it is on your crafty desk whether it's on your lap whether you're in the caravan you can score your card blanks into a variety of different sizes you can do your embossed edges to them as well incidentally this is where your boxes are going to be sitting or your boards are going to sit into place you can do your envelopes as well so they're going to fit the card blank sizes that you create on the opposite side you've got all these embossed details that you can then create your pop-out cards k cards you've got your little embossed detail for the tops of your envelopes to give it that professional look great for wedding stationery you've got your little holes here so you've got your little ribbon pins that we'll show you in a moment so you can create all your different size bows in there then if we open it up what you're then going to get is you're going to get your box maker on one side so you've got in inches centimeters on each side so inches on one centimeters on the other box lid box base and then you've got more score details so if you want to do that around the edge of your box your card blanks you can do more shapes for you to do your k cards or pop out cards all step through within the little booklet that you get if i open up on this side here this is giving you space to pop some of your additional uh, actual boards so if I show you this one here so you get the boxer board for free which is here I'll talk you through that in a sec and it does fit in there so it holds maybe about three or four actual boards nice and comfortably so if you've got some favorites then of course you can then store them in there and then if I go to the opposite side here what you've then got is you've then got your booklet, you've got your little pins here. So this is where you're going to pop them into the little holes for you to then come along and then make your own little bows. You've got two scoring tools, you've even got a paper trimmer, you've got the little blade as well that you can then replace when it comes to an actual uh, DIY store. That's there and then that will then sit into the middle there for you to then use your paper trimmer so you've got that one included as well all of that so that is your ultimate pro you're then going to be getting your boxer boards so this is your box maker that you can create a variety of different size boxes you do have inches you do have centimeters as well you've got the little notches here so this is where they just slot 
into the board there. So now, yes, you can do lots of different size boxes on the inside, but this opens up so many more. You are going to get the instruction sheet as well. You're going to get all of your guides as to how you can make your boxes, but then to actually assemble your boxes, we're going to give you a full tape runner. Now, when it comes to the tape runner, you're going to get that full 22 meters in length, as I always point out as well. Other tape runners out there in the industry are around about 10 to 12 meters whereas ours is 22 metres. Even the other leading adhesive brand that you know that I love very well, just through in Newcastle there, theirs is even only 12 metres. Ours is 22 metres. And last but by no means least, what you've then got is you've got your full pack of Centura Peril A3 in size. It is an absolute beaut of a cardstock to have. And of course, if you go A3, as you can then, of course, trim it down smaller. This one is single-sided. It's still your 310 GSM as well. All of that for $39.99 or $69.95. If you are platinum, or this is your first purchase after joining Club Inspire, which is a cracking purchase to actually have as your very first purchase is $31.99 or $55.96. That's there on Shop the Day as well, crafterscompanion.co.uk.com or .eu. What I would say as well, out of everything that we ever have done at Crafters Companion, you will find thousands and thousands and thousands of hours across on our YouTube channel, and that's no exaggeration when it comes to the uses of the Ultimate Pro. So you can always go there and have a little look. Now, we'll have a little recap just shortly of that pick of the day, but I know I think Debbie sorted where we I can did. jump I managed back to, get, to I managed to get three up, but one still stuck down, and it's only because I meant to put them underneath Under, the frame, got, yeah. not underneath the bottom, um, and that was, the, uh, that was the only reason. So I managed to, I've managed to salvage it. Um, I've used as well from the Wildflowers, I've used one of those lovely pieces that's going to be that decorated piece now obviously <laughs> you can see where my little four paws gone um, I'm just going to pop these on to do the decoration and then I'll show you that finished one uh, because literally it makes a difference when you place it mm -hmm. I'm just pop my butterflies on there just for a second and I'll show you the one that I've pre-done because it needs to go underneath because it looks a little bit wibbly wobbly but when you get it in the right place and if I just lift that up just for a second I've, I've, I've opened that one up it's underneath so ah, that you yeah. can attach that on and it sticks down so that you get that nice and neat finish and so that your concertina can you see if I just bring it there You've still got your concertina with your valleys and your folds, but it's the neatness that it makes when you put your strip underneath. And I've just popped it just underneath there on all four sides. And then it's got that nice bounce. It creates that lovely frame. Um, and I'll probably be able to fix that. It's just, I might have to cut myself another little strip for the other one. Um, so pop it underneath the flaps underneath them um, to make that nice and neat but there are instructions in there for you and it creates that lovely little box finish it's like almost like a box within a, a card it, isn't it? it really does create something and creates beautiful friends and you've got that lovely I love the bounce yeah, it's, it I think the bounce. and it does mean for things like that want to be raised like decoupage elements or maybe your um, flower forming foam like one of those gorgeous samples let me get that gorgeous sample Still need to find out who did this. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, that one, when you've got your flower forming or your paper flowers, and actually this is paper flowers, um, it gives you somewhere for it to be included in. So that could then go into a gift. Do you know one of those gorgeous, cheap and expensive frames? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Or it could be a gift box, could, could be the top of a gift box. Uh, but yeah, absolutely beautiful dies. Very simple to um, die cut as well and put together, as you've seen, uh, especially those corner pieces. They couldn't be any easier they if they tried because they yeah, just slip and done. slot into each other. And so you then can extend that as much as you want or keep it as small as you want. But remember, strips on the inside, not underneath the inside, like Celio Debbie did there. Uh, but very, very effective and a lovely uh, start to the box making masterclass where you can be creating uh, things like that yourself. Absolutely stunning. Let's not forget as well, you can do what Debbie's done, run them through, and then if you actually want to keep them completely flat, just chop away the scored elements, and there's a beautiful photo corner as well. So you don't have to have them with that concertina effect if you don't want to. But that is uh, one of seven 
products or collections when it comes Ooh. when it comes to the pick of the day. It does work out though 108 elements in total. Now you're going to get everything that I'm showing you for £80 or $95. Look at that saving. You're saving £129.93 or $148.65. Of course, you guys, Central Europe, your saving is going to be spectacular as well. So what do you get? Well, you're going to get your picnic treat box. If you go back onto my Instagram last week, I done an uh, TikTok Instagram reel using this one where I popped little baby socks in there. I made a blue one, I made a pink one and a yellow one for maybe in case you don't know the sex of the baby. That's across here for you to have a look. But this is the one that I used. You've got the template as well and that's going to create that fold out exploding concept. You've then got the prism. You've got that one and you've got the template as well. And then you're also going to be getting your roll up treat box and then you're also going to get the template as well. Before I carry on, there is an option on the website if you wanted to go for just this set, whereas it works out that you're buying the picnic treat box and you're getting them for free. They're on the website $39.99 or $44.95. You would then be saving £55 or $95. But if I say that again, $39.99 or $44.95, yes, that's great. But then if you look at your platinum price as well, because you're also going to get all of this as well. You're going to be getting your shadow box frame die. So that's included in your pick of the day. If you were to go for that alone, it's $19.99 or $22.45. So there we go, even closer now to that today's price. Then we're also throwing in your ornate box die. Now within that one there, that's worth £10 or just under $15. So you see how it all tallies up and that value within the pick of the day is absolutely off the scale and I'm still not finished there because within the pick of the day you're also going to be getting the concertina frame dies that Debbie were just showing you there now these ones the lace and the vines you can get them on their own for £22.48 or $25.42 that gives you a saving of 25% but there again, that's where you're saving of just under £130 or $150 come into play when you tally them all up. The option is there. Maybe you've got some of the treat boxes. Maybe you just want to stock up on a couple that you don't have. Maybe you're thinking, do you know what? What, what these boxes are good, any boxes are good for, this day and age, everyone's watching their pennies. Now, you not always can give big elaborate presents. Well, it's the thought that counts. So a little token gift in a box that you've sat, you've made, you've put love, you've put care into it, that is worth more than the present itself. So it's worthwhile thinking about when it comes to things such as that. You've got that option in the pick of the day. That price is for 24 hours only. It gives you a saving of over 60%. That's just on the today's price. As I said, platinum price, however, comes down to £64 or $76. It's on .co.uk.com or .eu. Shop the day. You're going to find it all there. And talking about Club Inspire, if you are wanting to join and you missed the show earlier on, which was Wake Up Call, and you want a little recap as to how to join and what the benefits are, here's the boss to tell you all about it. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. 
So, join our family of craft experts with live tutorials and demonstrations every day. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products here on Crafters TV. Get creative and craft along with our amazing deals. Your next craft project is only a click away. Tune in live seven days a week or watch on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook or our YouTube channel. You can chat to us, craft along and meet new friends in our online crafting community. You entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. You all have time with each other! <laughs> You're not free to boot camp. Get off! <laughs> <laughs> There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. So, stop what you're doing and enjoy the fun here on Crafters TV. Here at Crafters TV, it couldn't be easier to get your hands on the latest crafty must-haves. Leave the hard work to us while you shop from the comfort of your own living room. Head to the Crafters Companion website to see our full crafty range, or hit the Shop the Day button to see all the new and exciting products featuring on Crafters TV. Once you've filled your cart, leave it to us to get your crafty goodies to you in super quick time, so you can get on with being creative. Crafters Companion, making crafty shopping a breeze. Here at Crafters TV, it couldn't be easier to get social with us. Whether you're watching on Facebook or YouTube, on your TV or tablet, you can get so close to the action, it's like you're in the studio with us. You can ask questions about products or crafty techniques. Get hints and tips from our expert demonstrators. Plus, share pictures of your crafty makes with our amazing community. Crafters TV, getting you closer to the crafty action. So Lynn's got back and said, no, it's not arrived yet. The book, not yet. You know, shouldn't be too long. Wouldn't have thought so. Kelly on Facebook saying, I love, love my ultimate creating box. Envelopes, perfect bows have never been easier. It's what a lot of people say. It's, it's uh, worth its weight in gold just when it comes to creating the bows. Sissy Hastings is saying that ultimate is so useful. My very first CC purchase about 12 years ago. I use it daily and it's still good as new. It is so strong. It is robust. If you've already got one, you'll know exactly what I mean by that and what Sissy is saying. Chantelle St. Craig, how many extra boards can you store in the Ultimate Pro? I'd say around about three or four. You just need to take into account when you close the lid uh, that it does uh, close nicely, the actual whole Ultimate Pro. So, you know, a, a good uh, three or four of your favourite ones will be held in there. And then uh, Micheline on YouTube is saying, what's the difference between the Ultimate and the Ultimate? Pro, it's just all down to the measurements. So the one that I had there, which is the US ones, is because here in the UK our standard size is A4 in size, whereas stateside it's a letter size, so it's eight and a half by eleven. So it's more just the actual measurements. I, what I would say is in the UK, not many have bought the US version, but in the US. I know a man, many of you like to go for the UK version because a lot of cardstock that you get, obviously from us, is A4 in size. Although I know we do do collections that are eight and a half by 11 inches. So it's purely down to the actual measurements as well when it comes to scoring your cards, depending on the size of your card stock. What I, what I would say, of course, so if you're in the UK, best one for the UK, it's UK and vice versa for US. But have a look and see what you think. Now, I know I touched upon the treat boxes within that pick of the day, and we're actually going to go back to the treat box set, but just them on their own. So you can go for it. So these ones are included in that pick of the day. So if you've gone for the pick of the day, don't go for these ones again, unless you're getting them for a gift for someone. This one works out. So if you don't want to go to that full collection of the pick of the day, maybe you've already got some of the other ones, this is still exceptional because it actually works out that you're buying one and you're getting two of them for free. $39.99 or $4.95, saving $79.98 or $89.90. Platinum then comes all the way down to $31.99 
or $35.96. So if I refer back to your picnic box, picnic treat box, this is the one I was on about that I used for the baby reel that I done. This is what you're paying for. So you're going to be paying for the picnic treat box and essentially you're paying for the template as well. That's your price. And then what we're going to do for no additional cost, we're then going to give you the prism box. So we're going to give you that full set. We're giving you the worker die. We're getting you the layer dies. We're giving you the embellishment dies. You're getting it all, including the template to create the roll up. And also for free, you're then going to be getting the roll up treat box. The worker die, the embellishment die, the layer die, all of them are included where it's working out that you're buying the picnic and you're getting this roll up and the prism completely free, including the templates too. So if you've not got any of these ones here, maybe you've got some of the other ones, maybe like the concertina and you're like, well, I don't really want to go for the pick of the day because it doesn't make sense because I'm doubling up. We've got that covered for you as well. So where I was talking about before, the concertina options are there as an individual bundle or Nate's there on its own and the shadow box die is there on its own. But the best value in saving is that pick of the day price. But if you don't want to go for that, maybe you've already got the products or maybe it just takes your fancy being that bundle there, you can absolutely do that. Crafterscompanion.co.uk.com.eu. While you're there, check out as well that mixed media up to 70% sale where we are celebrating Jan's 60th birthday today, being the mixed media queen. So you're going to find glitter paste, you're going to find sparkle overlay, you're going to find your uh, mask, you're going to find folders all there for you to have a look at. But let's go back to Debbie and have a look as to what we're going to be doing next. Yep, so we're going to use the uh, roll-up treat, the roll-up, roll-up, not the rolling, rolling, if you watch the uh, wake-up call later <laughs> yeah. on. Uh, but, um, yeah, absolutely. So rather than me do this and die cut all the way through, I'm going to just speed that process up because we've got an hour and ten left and I've still got loads more to show you. Um, and you don't need to see me run it through the box. However, we'll address the question about um, the machines that the, these would fit into. Um, and it does tell it says on the back of your packet well it did used to i'm just checking now again oh and do you know i thought this told us i thought this told us i Craig. i would have. And do you know in my head i was thinking this one tells us um, but you will get it through your uh, larger machines mm -hmm. this one because if you look at the size that is a full die set all these are just extra embellishments that are in there and um, so it does need to go through your platform and I, if i just bring this in for a second though you can see that you could potentially but you'd have to do a shuffle. Sections, yeah. So, so, the so there, is, there is exceptions. So you could do a shuffle. So you could pop so much on and then shuffle your cardstock up and then finish it off with the rest. If mm -hmm. you, if you, at a push. But I would personally use the larger one. Now, when you use that big worker die, this is the uh, piece that comes out and it's got all of the flaps on there. Uh, and it's a really nice, easy one because how you'd look at this is that this will always be the tucking part that open up. So I'm just going to uh, quickly put that together. So I'm mm -hmm. going to just lay down my... Flaps, I'm okay. sorry, but that's just how I call them. So that's I'm just what gonna, they are. I'm just going to say as it is. Are. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. um, and I'm just going to pop down. Now, it will tell you to um, decorate your box uh, while it's in the flat form, but I just want to show you how this goes together um, because we can talk about that in a second, and I can show you what I've done with those. But it's just to show you how to put it together. Now, yeah. those flaps, just make sure you've you've nice and adhered together. You want your box to stick, um, and I'm just going to come in. I mean, it's all been done for you, Craig. Really. Nothing to work at. No. Nothing to work out. No score lines to work out, nothing at all. Everything that you need is being done for you, down to the scoring, down to the die cutting, down to those flaps and the measurements. Nothing. Nope. It's all done. And literally now, tuck that in. This is the bit that stays upright. And that creates your first roll-up box. You'd actually snip that off if you wanted to, because there is options as well. There's different things that you can do with this in terms of, if I just bring this out for a second, with your, because don't forget that's the die section I'm just talking about, but you do have a template to make your little, I call it the matchbox, this one, Craig, mm -hmm. do you? Yeah, yeah, actually, I call, it's got yeah, that I call it like a little matchbox because it's the inner part and the outer part. So you've got a, a slippy slidey in and out one, um, which I think is a lovely option as well. And that's with the, with the templates that are in there. Um, but I'm concentrating on the dies. So you saw how easy that was to put together. Um, and then you've got that workable. I just think that's lovely, a workable one. But what we're going to do is we're going to start putting these together. So I've got myself, and I've done these in some different coloured uh, cardstock that I've used here. Um, and I've actually used one of my favourite paper pads, plaid. 
um, because I love one, that. Yeah. I, I absolutely love that. But I'm going to assemble all my boxes together first. I've done that again. How do you know then I'm thinking? That's I've twice. Done in the room again. <laughs> that is twice. I've done. How bad is that? Sorry, Rachel. What you like, Craig? What are you like? And I'm, do you know something? I'm quite good at closing all my apps. Clearly not. <laughs> twice in one day. Hey, what are you like? I'll let you off. I'll let you off. It happens. It happens. Look, we're amongst friends. Well, that's very true. That's what you'll you'll all let me absolutely off. Absolutely fine. Yeah, there's no one's going to tell you off. But we do have some lovely comments coming through. Thank you. We'll read them out just shortly. Oh, yeah. Well, do you know, I've realised we've not done many comments today, have we? Have yeah. we done many comments? Yeah. Is it me? Have I yeah. just been? Yeah, you've just been in a world of your just own, been a getting, world ready, of your own yeah. getting creative and getting crafty. You have been. Absolutely. So, again, very easy to assemble. Debbie should have remembered, though, to, to uh, score her flap quickly before we started. So, so I'm just going to pop that together. And you can see how you put those. Literally, that just tucks in to itself. And then you've got this panel. Now, this panel will become clear in a second what we're going to do. So we've mm -hmm. got three lined up. And I'll just finish off with my last one, Craig. So, again... This is to do the four-way okay. box. The, the, yeah, the four-way yeah. box. And you can, of course, you know, you take, you can choose your own glue. I'm just using, and we say it's for speed, but what we actually mean is we're doing it because we know it's super strong. We know it's not going anywhere, but it just means we don't get tangled up with red liner tape, which can sometimes be a bit tricky with the red liner. Um, and wet glue, we can get stuck up to the eyeballs with that because I know what I'm like with wet glue. Are you the same? Oh, God, yeah. God, God, yeah. I get it everywhere. And don't even start, don't get me yeah. started about tacky glue. <laughs> I'm so messy with tacky glue. Yeah, I'm just, I'm not, if I use the small applicator, I'm not bad, actually. Yes. I'm not bad. Yeah. So I'm just going to, again, tuck those down. I forgot to do my little inside bits yet again, but it makes a difference. And then, again, that one just tucks underneath in. So you've got yourself four boxes already. And there, this is where I'm going to show you how to put them together because you simply are going to connect them to each other. Now, if you're worrying, don't worry because it's all on there. Mm -hmm. So you're going to connect each one. But before I do that, I'm, I'm going to do the decoration, I think. I think I'll do the decoration because um, I'm wanting to... Just uh, there's no point decorating the bit where this sticks to it because if you do, you're just wasting your uh, time and your paper. Yeah. Um, so for me, stick the outside piece, and you'll see how it starts. In fact, stop talking, Debbie. Just do it. Um, and just <laughs> pop it on. Uh, and again, think about your glue and the choice that you want to use. But just stick those on to each other so it goes literally like so so st straight away we've got the start of our box forming and you can see how that works and then we're just going to do exactly the same so we're going to take that and we're going to stick it to the front panel like so yeah. so it goes on and that's how if i just turn it that way you can start to see it so forming see together. It together so it's very very easy um i'm going to make life easier myself and put my glue just on that side just for the time being because just how I sometimes look at things when I'm popping it in my head. And, and I'm the same. You know, sometimes I'll maybe do something a little bit different than usual. It's yeah. just maybe the way that something's angled or the way that you're looking at it on your desk. Exactly. Desks. And now you can start to see how it's really forming. And then lastly, it's exactly the same. We're going to pop that into there. And then when it comes round on itself, obviously you need to have something to stick it together, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, but I'm just going to stick my last one onto there as well. This would also be a good little treat box for a new baby. You know, maybe like yeah. doing A, B, C, D or one, two, three, four, oh, yeah. you know, in the kiddies' colours or yeah. something. And they're still all like, each one has got its own little area where you can put your cream eggs um, and, and anything else that you want. So now that forms and then literally it's going to come back on itself. So if I just took all those pieces in, you can as well, of course, use, you know, your hook and loop on mm -hmm, those. You could, yeah, but of good course, idea. that's not going to stick together because there's something missing. Well, the missing bit, and Debbie better have got it. <laughs> Do you know what I'm like? Um, we need to pop a panel. So if you think about it, how it rolls up, it's going to roll up like that. But we want it to come from the other side, so it's literally going to fold back in. But it needs a panel to attach to here. So this is when you're going to take... Um, and you could do it with your die, or you could do it with uh, one of the templates and just use off that, and then put a score line in. So it's literally the same panel. That if you think it's the same two panel there, but what we're going to do is, and I'm just going to bring it round so I can visibly see it, I need to stick it on two there, so that when I come in, I've got my two pieces that stick together. So you've got that like that. Mm -hmm. Yep. So I'm just going to stick that on, Craig. It also reminds me, when you just turned it on its side there, what's that cake that I don't like? What's the cake? Um, Is it Battenberg? Battenberg. I love Battenberg. Battenberg. No, I don't like marzipan. You've got to have a bit of Battenberg. 
No. Go and have some Battenberg. No, I don't. Like, uh, don't French, you like it? Fr French fancy. That I do It's what, eh? French fancy. Oh. Do you know what my addiction is at the moment, no. Debbie? No, what's that? Um, cream slices. Oh, I love cream slices. Oh, see, whenever love I go into Asda, or Tesco's or Morrison's. Now, you can see how that now has rolled up all together. And then when you roll it, so if I just pop it back on my desk, there you can see. And then literally now you've got all your gift boxes in there. And then so all you're going to do, Craig, is you're just going to decorate it. So rather than me decorate it, that's what it looks like when it's all decorated. Because you're going to use each panel. Now, you're probably thinking, well, how did you know panels? Well, how did you know the panels, how Debbie? How did you know the panels? Well, You'll have had to enough, measure that, didn't you? Funnily enough, we should mention it, they're in there. Wow. So you don't have to worry about a single thing. And do you know what else is in there, Craig? Little decorative panels. And I didn't touch on those because I wanted to try and keep it nice and clean. But you've got decorative panels. These are all separate pieces, so it means you can cut in, cut out. Uh, again, you've got accessories on there. Everything's well thought out. And then literally, you just... And that's why I would construct it first... Construct it and then you know where to put your panels mm -hmm. and where to stick your panels because otherwise, if you start to stick, you'll end up probably wasting too much yes, paper. I know what and you I wouldn't mean. want you to do that because paper is precious. Um, and um, literally now I've got my lovely roll up box. And can you see where I've put on my panels? I went a little bit mad, but it's just so it all sticks together because when you're bringing it in, you want the you want the base to stick as well. So that's why I've put one on there as right. well as three on there so that when you bring it up, and bring it in it's all tied together and then again just pop your panels in i've added a little and again you're probably thinking where did you get that from well that is on your die set it's on your die set uh, where did you get the butterflies debbie I hear you cry uh i got them from the die set greg uh, because you've got everything on there to create and cut and then of course you've got a lovely lovely gift where you can pop them in i personally myself would have a little hook and loop on there and each one and that is just to stop it from Perhaps if you put lots of heavy things like cream eggs in, like the cream them. eggs are going to spill out. Of but isn't it a lovely surprise for the person that you are gifting it to to give them something that's got this multifunction? Looks beautiful, depending on your colours. Looks absolutely beautiful. And again, really, really very, very useful and a really nice, easy way. So you can go from the one. Where did that one go again? I've put it down. I've put it back down. Debbie, what have you done with it? Me and these samples today, you can have the one on its own. Or you can have four put together and a lot easier to put together than you actually think. However, do not worry because you've got your instructions written as well as a little picture showing you how to put it together, showing you some of the little ways that you can put it together as well because there's other pieces that you can snip out of it to make it a little bit easier as well. But honestly, don't overcomplicate it. No. It's really easy to do. It's really easy to put together and it looks really, really quite stunning. It does, really does. It works an absolute treat when it comes to the plaid paper pads. Remember as well, if you see us using anything that we're not necessarily mentioning, have a look on the website, check it out. If it is out of stock, you can do that. Notify me when it's back in stock. But I'm sure the plaid pads are still there for you to look at. But that was your treat box dimensional. So this is your three pack set. So this is where it works out that you're paying for the picnic box and then you're getting the prism and the roll up for free. So this is a set that is in that pick of the day. So if you've gone for that one, then uh, I wouldn't go for that one because you're just duplicating unless you're going to be doing it as a gift. So this one here is what you are paying for. So that one there is your picnic treat box. So you're going to be paying for that one. You're going to get the worker die and all the decorative dies, the panel dies, and you're going to get that template as well to create a four way rollout box. That's there, and that's what you're paying for. Everything else now is completely free. So you're going to get your prism box with all of the dies, the panel dies, the embellishment dies, all of these you're going to be able to use. What about using the decorative one? Pop it on your foil press four or five seconds, then use the outer die to cut it out, then that can be the panel on the boxes as well. So you could be using the other tools from your crafty stash. So that's coming to you for free. 
as is the template. And then what Debbie was just using there, you can see just here, this is also what you're going to be getting for free, including the two templates to use them in the two different ways. Well, three, if you want to use them singly, you can absolutely do that. So that is where you're going to get all them. Buy one, get two free. You're going to be saving over 65% on that bundle there. It is 39.99. If you are stateside, that's going to come down to 44.95. And you can see the saving on your screen there. 79.98 or 89.90. Even better though, platinum price, that's going to come down to $31.99 or $35.96 for all of those. Great one. Buy one, get two free. Then something else we're going to look at that was also in the pick of the day. Now, you may have some of the other items and not the concertina die, so you only want these. Well, we've got you covered. This one is the concertina 3D border die collection because you get them both. So you're going to be getting your vines. Now, Debbie was showing you how you can be using these ones just at the start of this show. So if you're just tuning in now, afterwards, you can always go back and watch the start and she showed you how you can make a beautiful card and project, although you will see it at the end of the show for demo of the show. And you're also going to be getting the lace. So you're going to get both sets, six dies in total, $22.48 or $25.42. That's where you've got a saving of 25% on something that you can create all your different size frames. It's entirely up to you and the project you are making. And of course, you can make all these different size ones with the aid of simply your junior or your midi. But if you are platinum, that then comes down to that purple box price. It's $17.98 or $20.34. $20 so you've got that option. Pick of the day is there across on the website, 24 hours only. You've got a saving of just over 60% on that option. Or if you want to just go for certain bundles within that pick of the day, you can do that as well. But as soon as you tally up the cost of each of the bundles, although they are incredible savings in their own forum, when you do that tally up with your Club Inspire, then of course you know that that saving is phenomenal. But that one there you can get for $17.98 or $20.34. EVB saying, so cool, I had no idea it was Jan's birthday. I and Jan shared the same birthday. Happy birthday, EVB. Happy birthday to you. We've got Samantha is saying, Craig, I love your shirt. Your whole outfit looks so sporty and good vibes. Thank you. Brand new, as we talked about within Wake Up Call this morning. Teresa saying, love that box. Brenda saying, was that Velcro? I'm not quite awake yet. It's, yeah. It's, uh, it's, we, we, it, so Velcro is a trademark name. Yeah. Um, and it's usually, it doesn't usually come in strips. Usually, actually, usually yeah. strips, isn't mm. it? So uh, these are what we call our hook and loop. And I think they're called dots. Um, I, We'll get producer Nick to check on the web to see whether or not we've still got some in stock because they're our um, our product, which is a it's like a small dot, double-sided yeah. adhesive. So you've got the bit that hooks and that bit that look, sticks together. Sticks together. And it sticks. It's got sticky back on this side and a sticky back on that side, so that you can attach it to your products and then it, it just goes mm -hmm. and then. That's that, the noise, isn't it? That's it the sound. Is. It's exactly um, but it. it's not Velcro, it's called Hook and Loop, and I'm pretty sure it's Hook and Loop Dots or something, something like that. Something like that, isn't it? Yeah. 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 A little, little bit of inside knowledge for some of you that might not know, because as, as Debbie was saying, it's uh, like a, a brand name, a trade name. When it comes to TV, HSN, QVC, a bit stricter in being saying brand names, because we are social platform, not as strict. So we can get away. That's why we pop some brand names of our favourites in there. We shouldn't, but we do. So that's how we get away with that one. Mm -hmm. Joyce is saying, I love the boxes. Still have to get this. Well, today's definitely the day. Member pick of the day, 24 hours only. And Marcel is saying on YouTube, I love the concertina dice. They are beautiful, aren't they? Absolutely gorgeous. Now, talking about the pick of the day, we are going to be having a look at one of the items that are within the pick of the day. It is there as a single option if you want to, which is the ornate die. So if you do want to get it on its own, it is there. Cross on our website. I've got it written down here, actually. It's $9.99 or $14.95. It's actually a saving of 50%. It is half price. But it is within your pick of the day box making seven piece showstopper collection. 108 elements in total. £80.95 or 64 
£4.76 for you guys stateside Central Europe. You just need to go to .eu. Uh, if you're ready, Debbie, I'll just fire straight across to you because I know you want oh, to so show I was just, stuff. I was just getting ready. Sorry, Craig. I'm, oh, I was that, just that's getting, me. I'm just jumping just, ahead sorry, there. It's my fault. It was, I was just getting ready no, because I was going to show you because I've put the box together in a different way because I love this die set. There's, there's lots of different ways that you can uh -huh. use it. Um, and in terms of your um, box, you've got this um, where well, you can have a four-sided square box. You can have a five-sided box, a six-sided box, an eight-sided box, and a ten-sided box. And the reason being is this little little magic template in here because, and if you look at it, it actually tells you. So to follow your square base, you would take a piece of cardstock. Now, I've got black here, but I'll bring in a white so I can show you just for a second to show you what I mean, how you would do this. And then your die cut pieces, you would just die cut them out and then attach it to your base to create the bigger size box. Mm -hmm. It's all self-explanatory, Craig. It tells you everything in there. Um, you might have some of these dies in your crafty stash because Maybe. there were some decorative panels that came with this set initially. This was the box, but this box die set in itself is a sm it says small, but obviously you can extend it. Uh, but So you may check, check in your little crafty stash because you might have got some of those somewhere and that'll take this box onto another level as well but you're simply going to draw around your stencil it's 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 very very easy uh, to do now i've done it with these nice big flaps on because you can turn this around but how the box was intended was that this is actually your top and your bottom so you tie you, you you're going to add that to your base and it adds a nice little dimension to it as well but when you're using your template you're going to come in and this I'll, I'll just show you for a second what i mean so you're going to take your template and for your four-sided, you're going to draw around it, and then right. you're going to, as we say in the world here, flip reverse it. Shall yeah. we start that again, uh, Nick? Great, Craig. Flip, flip reverse it. Flip reverse it. Yeah, it's a, a little technical term we were doing last week with oh. uh, with, uh, with Ben. <laughs> He'd never heard of Missy Elliott and Flip Reverse It. Nicola had to play the song to him. Do you know that one? I know Missy Elliott. I've not heard Flip Rotator or Flip Flip Versa. Reverse It. Reverse oh, it. We'll, we'll play it after the break. We'll play it after the break. Um, now, I'm just going to show you, moving on to the five-sided. So I've moved up to the next stencil. And you simply, and it, it is a case of where you're um, finished off. Can you see, if I just bring that in, follow the five side. And it creates, so I'm ignoring this one, and I'm just following it on, and I'm just going to match that up to the top. Did I put the one in the top? Let me just make sure I did that one at the top, just to show you. Let me go back over there. Yes, you did, Debbie. Yes, you did. Um, put that out there. Um, so that when you come now and turn it over, um, you're going to match that up. And I'm going to match that one. And that creates the five-sided one. So okay. literally, and I'm just doing this on a bit of rough... Uh, I'm about to say with paper, a spare set of paper to show you. So that, when you, and again, you can see now that the five-sided, and if I just grab my guillotine, use your guillotines with these, Craig, it's a bit easier. Um, when you come into, and I'm just going to snip that off, because that enables you to create your square panel, which is mm -hmm. where you're going to put your panels onto, if that makes sense. It's a handy does that make template. Sense? Uh, yeah? That does make sense. But so, it's a handy template just to have at the side of you as oh, well, yeah, just absolutely. for any layers you want to do. Absolutely. So that creates the, and I'm just going to, again, just when you're using it in your guillotine, then you can see that you've created your square. And then the same with your five-sided one. And I'll, I, again, I would take a ruler and draw around that first before I started. But I, I've been using um, these these on and off over the years for mm -hmm. a while now. And it's, especially with the guillotine, just going at it. But if you want to be more accurate, um, then, of course, get your ruler and join those dots up, so to speak, so that you know you've got an accurate um, side. So that creates the five side. Okay. And then you move on. And if I just move that out of the way a second, I'll bring back in some more cardstock. Because it really is nice to show this little bit. We, we forget to show these bits and make it so easy to show you as well just how fabulous this stencil is. And then how you can turn your boxes into so much bigger pieces. So again, you're six-sided. You follow the template around on the six okay. with your pencil. So you can choose then. So And, and honestly, it's worth doing it because I, I did these for in-store and I love making them. I really enjoyed making them. Mm -hmm. They were fabulous. Um, and again, I'm just going to match up. So you can see, when, even when you turn it over, you can still see that that's a six. And I've matched it together. So that line now joins into one. And then following 
that's six sided again. And don't worry if you've not, you know, if you're a bit messy with it, it don't matter. It's just a guide. Well, that's, tr that's true, it's yeah. A, it's a guide. So that will then create the six panel. And obviously, you won't waste cardstock like I'm wasting here because you take your time um, and grab all, the, all as much as you can out of your cardstock. And then that just now enables me to create my six sided because this is where you're going to start from this is when you're going to start to stick your panels onto it mm -hmm. um so that you can build up those sides so it's it's nice to just touch on this just for a couple of minutes just to show oh, yeah. it really is and that's yeah. what the master classes are all about yeah you it know. is yeah so straight away we've got a four-sided box a five-sided box a six-sided box and you would repeat that so you would go in again and then we're going to move to the eight so the eight creates a, a, a bigger side now there's two for the eight because for the eight, you want a top and a bottom. So you're going to cut the top part first and then the base. So it gives you the two. And then the same with the 10 as well. So you've got a 10 top and a 10 base. So you've got two options there that you need to cut out for both of those. Because obviously you're going bigger, mm -hmm. you've got more sides. Mm -hmm. And you're more, and you're more sides then, that's when you, you, you need those. But that enables you. So for that one, di and that's before we even start with dies. <laughs> before we even start with dies. So, and this creates then all your panels that will stick on. And if you notice, it matches each one. So no matter whether you've gone for six, seven, oh sorry, six, seven, six, eight, ten, it just means that you're going to attach them to each one because they're all the same size. And if I just bring that in for a second, just to show you, if I go to the top, can you see that it matches perfectly? Oh, it does match So this perfect. is your worker die, this is your base. Uh, or your top, base and your top, depending on what you're, you know, you're going to create. And for example, if I just show you what I mean, what you would then do is you would attach those sides. So you, you know your box there, that's mm -hmm. when you'll come out and you'll attach there. Um, or, personally, that side. Because I like these, is a, a you nice like the larger panel. ones yeah. out, okay. it's, in, it's entirely up to you. You've got choices again. It, it's all about those choices. Um, and that's what I like about this. You look at this die set and you're thinking, what on earth? How can you create all of those out of that? Well, it's that and that together, and it creates, and it gives you creativity. It gives you options of, do you stick with four? Do you stick with five? Do you go to six, eight, or ten? Um, and honestly, it's, I, I just love this set. Uh, and like I said, check your little stash out, because you might have got some of those decorative panels do. in there. Mm -hmm. You might have. I mean, I'm just saying, you might have. You might not have, but you might have. Do you know what that <laughs> die set would be good with? What's that? If you've still got some of the chinoiserie left over. Oh, yeah. That would look beautiful. Shim was shim what what wait a minute shim was yes, yes. how do you say that word shin was is it shim shim was a shin was a i had to uh, when we first launched it i'll say first launched it for a good couple of weeks whenever i had it on any of my shows i had to have it written phonetically on a bit of paper in front of me because i said everything other than shin was no, I can't say some of the things that I was saying, Nicola, when it comes to it. Kept tripping me up, Debbie. Kept tripping me up. Did it keep tripping you up? I so said. when I say it, I sound really common. Shimwazery. <laughs> it sounds really common when I say it. Um, but yeah, shim shimwazery. I say it posh. Shimwazery. Shimwazery. <laughs> yeah, we'll say it poshly. Uh, well, again, masterclass. Evelyn is saying, I've never made the big box from this set. It's so nice to see these boxes de demonstrated on CCTV again, Debbie. Terry Anderson, big capital letters. Thank you, Debbie. Taking the time to explain this has made the template a lot easier for me to understand. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, you are. You're welcome. So now what you do is, now I, I'll show you the way that I've done it, but I'm going to show you a different way because you've got, again, you've got choices. So this would be where you stick your base onto, uh, but you can do these little side panels as well. So if I just bring this in just for a second, um, can you see now um, I've got my base and this would create the top panel and the bottom panel as well. Got you. Um, I've done it a slightly different way with this one because again, it's that choice mm -hmm. element, but uh, you can stick down both sides. So I'll just pop a bit of glue. Let me go, let me just make sure I get that the right way around because I want to make sure my box opens up. There Even go. something is like a, a weight for, maybe you're having uh, birthday celebrations and you put a weight in it and then it can hold down your helium balloons. Yeah. Something along those lines or decorate oh, yeah. it. You know, with the four, yeah, with the yeah. four one, yeah. That's good, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Why, why not? Why not? Um, so again, I'm just going to stick all my little panels and I'm going to have those on the outside. But you can tuck them in. So this will create, so if you tuck them in, it'll create a square box. So if I just hold that there, I know it's a bit difficult in black. I never thought of you that. You cut them out, you create a panel. 
Okay. So it's entirely up to you. Again, this is this is a thing, Craig. Again, choices. Choices. I love, I love. I've, I mean, I talk about it a lot, and I do bang on it about a lot because I genuinely, when I first started crafting, I wanted every single die that came out on the market, and I didn't care if it only did one thing because I, th I have to have it. I have to have okay. it. As time has gone on, and pennies, you know. Mm -hmm. They get tighter. Um, oh, you think that there's, there's other things going off in, in the world that you think, mm, do I really need? A, so I look at something and if it does more than one thing for me, I always want it there yeah. because it does the more than one. It gives me creative, um, creative license. Is that the right word? It does, yeah, it creative really does. Creative license. And it's a good, good thing to point out. And it's like I said at the start as well, Debbie, and you know, talking about the pennies at the moment, you know, maybe you've gone through a time where you gift everyone birthday presents or that. Maybe you can't quite reach to that anymore. It's all about the thought, isn't it? Yeah. So a little token gift, and then it's that time, it's the thought, it's the effort that's gone into making the box that essentially they'll probably keep the box over they'll keep the gift or maybe they've used the gift or ate the gift, whatever it is. It's all about the way that the gift is presented, isn't it? Yeah, and your box absolutely. making is perfect. Absolutely. So I'm going to bring this in now. And now you're probably thinking, good grief, what on earth is that? Because <laughs> it's like, but literally, and this is, this is the four, you will tuck those in and then you'll add your square base to it. So if I bring in my square base, so remembering that square base that we did with the white, if yeah. I just bring that in, I've just cut my uh, into black. Now you could have that on the inside and have that lovely little decorative panel so they could stick to each one, but I'm gonna cover mine up because I want to differentiate between the bottom and the top. So I'm gonna stick those down and then place that over the top of it. And that creates me nice solid bottom, so to speak. Um, but I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue down onto there. Now I'm just going to use my tape pen again, just I say speed. You know what I mean, don't you? I know exactly what you it. mean. Yeah, and it's just to attach bits of glue and just to seal it. And then I'll do that the same on that side. Stand out to me, it's looking like one of uh, George's drones. George's what? Drones. George has got a drone? Dro dro he's a, uh, a fully qualified drone. Is he? Yeah. Did you not know he's got his own little business in I that? didn't know that. Well, not little business, but... I didn't know that. Yeah. No, it... I had no idea, George. Yeah. No idea. Yeah. A drone business. I thought you were a cameraman. I think you did your own video things. Yeah, he does a lot in his drone. Wait a minute. You filmed me a drone? So, if you filmed me a drone... Um, so every time I see, I think in Emmerdale when I think of filming a drone, do you know that storyline that he had a drone at home and he was stalking that young girl? You don't do things like that, do you, George? That's <laughs> why you've got into that biz, John, is it, George, is it? <laughs> ah. Oh, dear. Uh, now I've created, can I just show you? Of course you I, can. I can't believe that, George. I, you, things that you find out can about people. Can I just people. say, yes, so um, good. It's just created. So this one was when I used the flaps the opposite way. So the, the opposite way. I stuck the, the larger flaps together, which mm -hmm. still doesn't sound right when I say it, but, and use the smaller ones on the top. But um, how it was designed was so it works like this, and then you could uh, literally tuck those in on each other, or you can uh, attach two down and pop a little ribbon just into the top. If I just pop in some paper just to show you, and I, of course I had to use the... Uh, I just love the Bohemian. You've got to go for it. Actually, though, to be fair, this is my summer meadow. Because the Summer Meadow had the frames. You know, the lovely frames that were in the pa patterned paper. Oh, so yes. I'm using the, the I'm going to call it the waist mm -hmm. side. Um, I love that paper pad. I did say, very bold statement, that the Summer Meadow was my favourite 2023 20, pad by far. Is that? Until a week later when the Bohemian came. <laughs> Bohemian and came. then I was like, nope, I've changed my mind. Actually, to be fair, top two. Call it as it is. Top two. They are absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, they really beautiful are. paper pads. They're unreal, unreal paper pads. But doesn't it go to show that maybe you maybe maybe you wouldn't have thought how many maybe's was that? Maybe 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 ma
black well, I, looks I, I, you, so you good. You know me, I always use white. And I kept thinking, do you know what? We've got lovely cardstock in our little stash. And uh, black looks really quite um, effective. Mm -hmm. it, goes quite, it stands out, doesn't it? It does. It really um, does. Now, I'm using... So if you're thinking, how on earth have you got those mats and layers so beautifully done, Debbie? Debbie, I mean, how have really? you got those mats and layers so I, beautifully done? Well, funny you should ask Craig. They're all in there. No even way. Even down to the little side panels. So we could even cut the side panels so that I could attach those onto there as well. So everything would really beautifully work together. Um, so honestly, this is a lovely one. And I, like I said, I don't think we feature it enough this uh, die and so it was nice to spend a bit of time just doing this one to show you and show you how easy it is to create because all I've done with this is on the four-sided it's exactly the same Debbie you got snap happy there literally carried away doing all the rest um but that now shows you that you've got this beautiful box and these lovely little side panels as well I could actually pop on if I grab that little die there and you're going to get two so don't forget though if you are doing two because you've got the that side, you've also got the other side. So mm -hmm. eight times you'd need to do that. But with your card, with well, with paper, how quick would it take to do with paper? Exactly. Yeah. I yeah. mean, we're going to be able to cut through two less. So I'm just going to quickly do that, Craig. Of course so you I don't can. know if there's any more comments or anything we could be uh, reading. Uh, not not at the moment. But what I can just do. Yeah. Everything that Debbie's just gone over and what she's shown you, ten pound or fifteen dollars. You could do all of that and so much more for £10. So to be exact, it's nine, $99 or $14.97. dollars 97 So it is half price on that one there. So you can do four, five, six, eight, ten of the different boxes. You can do them in whichever cardstock you like. You've actually got 18 dies in total. So you've got that worker die, but then you've got that template as well. And as Terry was saying and Evelyn is saying, it's a lovely way within this masterclass to see exactly how it works. So you can do the different sizes, you can have them tucking in or out, you can have the folds and flaps, you know, either on the uh, top or it could be on the side there if you want to. But you've got the different options there, steps you through inside. So you've got the dies, you've got the template, you've got the instructions as well. And now you'll also have this video to go back on, this show to go back on across on our YouTube channel, Crafters TV, and watch Debbie and see what she's done with that one time and time again. So it is in the pick of the day bundle, but if you do just want to go for that one, which I think now, if I'm honest with you, I think now maybe some of you have seen it in the past and like, don't really, I'm not sure what to do with that one. Now you've seen what Debbie's done, you're like, I know, right, perfect. Let's do it, let's get our hands on it. So it is there on Shop the Day as well, so you'll find that both option singly or within the pick of the day. The option's there for you, but nice little way to send your little gifts out. Decorate them whichever ways you want to as well. Uh, uh, just a lot of love coming in for what you're showing, how you're doing it, and the way you're explaining it, Debbie. It's just nice because, uh, like I said, it's, it's I, I mean, I, I'm, up until playing with it, I forgot I've got this die, I'm not going to lie, um, but I love that we've been able to revisit it and I love that I've been able to show it, yeah? Mm -hmm. I love the way that, to show you different ways that you can use it as well. So I feel like I've spent a lot of time with this particular die set, but you're seeing the other things that we do um, here needed, in this though. showstopper. And it's doing, doing that something that little bit different. And I think that's what a masterclass should be all about, shouldn't it? Showing you all the different ways that you can use it. This is just one of the die sets, just one, one. That's all it is, one die set. Yep. Um, and you've got all those little features. So now what we'll do is we'll pop on a bit of glue. Let me just pick this up and I'll uh, pop on my glue. And then I'm just gonna decorate the panels. So we're gonna pop in, in fact, let me use me, I'll just use this because it'll be quicker. Um, and then it just perfectly, and it really does enhance that uh, side piece as well. And you're gonna do that on both sides because you don't wanna be wasting no. um, that other side and literally, just place that on and it attaches there like so onto that panel. So again, and that now gives you that lovely finished look. Finishes so I'm just going to repeat that all the way around. Yeah. I'm just want just while you're doing that, uh, Debbie, George, yeah. are we able to zoom on in this just for a moment? Or I can come close. It's actually for Chantel. We don't actually have a finished sample of a five sided box, but if I show you on this one there, it gives you a little indication as to how it's going to look that you can see there. So you can see the four, five, six, eight, nine, but there you are, Chantel, that is your five-sided box. So you would just form it in the same way as Debbie and you've still got all those different options. Tuck the tabs in or out, or you could have the larger ones 
at the top bottom is entirely up to you but there we go sorry debbie it was just while you were doing those no it's fine because i'm only sticking good. these flaps down uh, these, sorry these panels onto those flat bits so it's absolutely fine craig and it's just me just i just wanted to show you because i've got i've done it two different ways to show you again versatility and this is just on the four-sided you've got up exactly to that's the, the thing honestly this is what i'm t I think, oh i've done them all oh. I think, I've all, I think I over die cut them there. Um, so now what you've got, and I, all I've done, again, I've just used um, little pieces from the... Um, doo -doo -doo -doo, thank you very much, Nicola. Bohemian, Bohemian. And I'm just going to pop some feathers just into the background, like so. And then this is just me just literally doing a little bit of decoration. Of course, do you know what I'd normally be doing? Flowers and butterflies and everything else. I, I don't have a little sentiment as well so i'm just going to drop my little sentiment onto there too and i think i might have that on let's see if i can get that off my finger i love the glue but oh my god it's so, so oh no 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 oh no oh no 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 oh, no 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 no, no, no. no, no. <laughs> it'll be fine in fact you know what it'll be fine because um in fact let's leave it off I'm not even going to try uh, because I just want to show you now how that would work. And you, like I said, these can be the tucked in um, or you could pop a little hole or you could just tuck them all in until they fit. So if I just come, I'm trying to remember, do you know what that's like doing with those boxes? Oh, the fold in oh of God, the tabs. Oh my God, they're driving yeah. Um, but you literally can stick that down. So you've got now, and if I just show you, and if I just take, so you can see the original one. So the original one. It's got bigger flaps, gives it a different look altogether. Um, but how it was originally intended was this style. So this is the style. The bottom bits go underneath and then you stick your panel onto it. And then the top bits you can either have um, tucked in or you can have like um, ribbon threaded through there. So you could literally take it up to the very top. Or you could actually you could keep it really nice high up. So you've Good got day. a nice high sided box as well. So you've got options, you've got choices. And that's just on the four sided way. So you can absolutely go in and change it up both together <coughs> excuse me um and both different style boxes from that one die set so smart and then you've got the option to do a larger <coughs> one you know or a, a next one next size up next size up next size up when it comes to this one here four five six eight and ten with that template so we won't spend a lot of time because we just have a look at that a moment ago but that is your small box die 18 dies in total the worker die that's going to enable you to create all those different size ones you're going to get the template as well for the base and when it comes to this one if you've got additional dies you can start to use them too you might have some of the square ones from past mystery bags or goodie bags 10 pound or 9.99 to be exact 14 dollars 97 it is of course half price on that one do you know what i for me personally as a crafter even at the full price the versatility of that at first glance, full price, I would be like, mm, maybe not. But then when you actually see what you can do, the different ways and the different configurations, then you're like, actually, that is a good price. But then bringing it down to just under that £10 or $15, it's even more exceptional. But what we are going to do is we're going to take uh, a moment or two for you to check out your baskets, fill up your cup of tea or your juice. We're going to do the same and Debbie will be back in a couple of minutes with something else she's going to show you when it comes to our masterclass all about box making. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Come on, that was really funny, Ben. You didn't it was better than your arm and no when I live in a caravan. <laughs> I am a no man, I live in a caravan. <laughs> <laughs> Can we yeah, clip that? Yeah. What we doing? Everybody's gone surfing, surfing, surfing USA. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. You entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafters TV, create every day. 
If you love Crafters TV, we've made it easy for you to watch us wherever you are. Whether you catch us on your tablet or take us with you on your mobile phone, it's easy to watch us anywhere. From here to here. Maybe don't watch us here. It would be easy to watch us here. Probably the easiest place to watch us is here. Crafters TV, with you wherever you are. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafter's companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course the Club Inspire community group on Facebook where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration and of course you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend and the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Here at Crafters TV, it couldn't be easier to get your hands on the latest crafty must-haves. Leave the hard work to us while you shop from the comfort of your own living room. Head to the Crafters Companion website to see our full crafty range, or hit the Shop the Day button to see all the new and exciting products featuring on Crafters TV. Once you've filled your cart, leave it to us to get your crafty goodies to you in super quick time so you can get on with being creative. Crafter's Companion, making crafty shopping a breeze. Now you can't make boxes without cardstock. And we've got perfect selection of cardstock here for you. Century Repel, 310 GSM, the creme de la creme when it comes to cardstock. And even better when it's A3, because of course you can always cut it down to A4 or smaller, but A4 or smaller, you can go bigger when it comes to the sizes that you need. So within these ones here, it's essentially you've got a buy two, you're going to get one for free. You're going to get, which is still probably 18 months on, still my favourite colour palette, and that is pastel, which is coming to you for free. This is your Centura Peril A3 Pastels, white gold and white silver collection. 70 sheets in total, now you're going to be $25.50 or $37.50 for you guys stateside. And even when it comes on to essentials, you're still going to get your Club Inspire. Platinum comes down to £20.40 or $30 for your Centura Peril. The other way to think about it is 140 A4 sheets. When you think of it that way for that price, that's when you think, wow, that's exceptional. So you are going to be paying for your snow white and a hint of gold. You're also going to be getting your snow white and a hint of silver. So I don't have with the hint of silver here, but you are going to get your snow white with a hint of gold, full pack. You're also going to be paying for a full pack of your snow white with a hint of silver. Then, for free, you're also going to be getting your A3 Pastel Centura Peril. Now, this is giving you your baby pink. This is giving you your baby blue. I mean, look at the sheen on that one. You're then going to get your mint as well. So you're going to get the mint within that one there and that pastel tones. You're going to get your lilac, or as many of you guys stateside say, lilac. That's included too. And then you're going to get your yellow. So that's really good. If you're making new baby cards or projects, you don't know the sex of the baby yet, then the yellow one is a really one to go for. All of that is what you're going to be getting for free. So you're paying for your hint of gold, you're paying for your hint of silver, and then you're going to be getting your uh, pastel for free. So 25 sheets when it comes to your hint of gold and 25 sheets when it comes to the hint of silver. There's 50 sheets and then it comes to 25 sheets of your uh, pastel 
cardstock. Really cracking bundle there, £25.50 or $37.50. You've got that saving there of £12.47 or $18.47, which is essentially your pastel A3 Centura Pearl, which is still A3 in size. You can then score it, you can box make with it, you can do your die cutting, you can do embossing, you can do foil, and you can do all these things that you love to do when it comes to your cardstock. Still, it's very, very craftable when it comes to the different ways. It is single-sided, though, just to let you know on that one there but if you are platinum or that's going to be your first order that comes down to £20.40 or $30 that is a really good uh, stock builder as well when you see things such as that on deals that we've got today take advantage and then you can then uh, store them away and they don't take up that much room so it's really easy to store maybe at the top of something or down the side but it's always there when you need you've got the hint of gold hint of silver and the pastels as well, $25.50 or $37.50. It is on Shop the Day on the website. Uh, while you're there, you can have a look and see other things as well that you can purchase. Just because we don't talk about them doesn't mean that they're not there for you to then pop into your basket and check out. Check out, of course, that uh, mixed media sale as well, up to 70%. It is there for, well, be just over 24 hours. End of midnight tomorrow, wherever you are across the globe. It is, of course, in celebration of Jan 6th. 60th birthday today. Our Jan is 60, so uh, she'll be celebrating today. But they thought, let's let's do a little bit of celebrating. She loves our mixed media, so we've done up to 70% sale across on the website. Now, it's not just your mixed media items that you'd think. You're going to find some folders, 3D embossing folders, clear sparkle overlay. You've got 20% off. Heat tools there, that's got 20% off. We've even got glitter paste. That's in there with the 20% off. So that's a good one for you to pop in there as well. So yes, you're thinking of mixed media, but then what about the stencils that you've already got? Create a cards, die cut them, and then use them as a stencil instead. So this is where you're going to take advantage of that mixed media and then have a look at your additional essentials as well. But we are going to go back to what is within the pick of the day, the pick of the day courses for 24 hours only where you've got that great saving if you were to go for all seven sets you do have options to go for the sets individually if you want to but the saving itself is off the chain when it comes to the full collection it is a seven piece I would say that because you've got seven sets however you've got 108 elements in total £80 or $95 you can see that saving there that's really where it showcases the saving at just under £130 but for you guys stateside just under £100 for uh, $150 in fact platinum price of £64 or $76 we do reference some pounds in dollars but you are going to be able to get them Central Europe as well so crafterscompanion.co.uk.com or .eu I know within one of the sets here we're going to be having a look at in a moment with Debbie and it's just great way it's a great masterclass to see the different looks the different styles the different ways that you can create the boxes Always great to be making boxes from scratch when it comes to your scoreboards. Sometimes we don't have the time. Sometimes we don't want to. Sometimes we simply want to then do the die cutting of the box and then you can then do the decorating. So at least that's the benefit of having your scoreboards, but then obviously having your dies as well. So very quickly within that pick of the day, you're going to be getting the picnic treat box with the template as well which enables you to create a four-way fold out you're going to be getting your prism box that Debbie had demonstrated earlier on that you can always go back and watch again you're going to get the template to create that rollout and then talking about rollout you're going to get that roll up treat box as well so you can either use it singly or using the templates that you've got you can use them in a couple of different ways also going to get the shadow box die that is your six by four 21 dies in total and you're also going to be getting your lace concertina die so you're going to get your vines and that one there is your lace there is your vines debbie done a gorgeous demonstration at the start of this show and you're also going to be getting your ornate box so that's the one that debbie just used a moment ago which all of you have absolutely loved because some of you are not quite sure how the template worked for that one there 
now you know. And now you're able to save that to your playlist and go back time and time again to watch Debbie and see how she's actually formed that one together. So that's your pick of the day, £80.95. But if you are platinum or it's your very first purchase after joining Club Inspire, it comes down to £64 or $76. Just to say that today's price is a saving of over 60% on that one. So that is wow. That's also there on the shop the day across on our website. So just have a little peruse.co.uk.com or .eu. You're going to find some different, uh, well, think about your ink pads as well that are launched. Have a little look. You're going to find them all there for you to then play with. I think we're going to go across to Debbie, I, I know, think. Yeah, sorry, Greg, I've That's been okay. busy getting myself no, all I know, ready. I can see it in my monitor. Uh, nope. <laughs> Just because there's a lot with this one, and because if you saw Wake Up Call this morning, I showed you how to put one of these together with the prison box, um, which we call, we call it the little... Um, we do, we, we can't help ourselves because it is, it's like the little glasses case or yeah. the little Toblerone, Toblerone yeah. um, where you've got your lovely uh, box there. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can extend that Perfect. and create it into that roll up feature using your template because your template and you know your A3 cardstock will come into effect. However, you can use as well. Um, A4 cardstock with just a little bit of a clever um, sandwich of uh, two pieces together. Oh, yeah, that's true. So you can you can absolutely do that as well. Now with this, I don't want to. You know, we've only got like 20 minutes, well less than that, mm -hmm. about 15 minutes left now. So you're going to take what I call the worker die. So the worker die first, and you're going to cut through. Now to create the full roll up, you want six pieces. Okay. So I've done them in three black, three white. So you can see I've had to be. Um, <clears throat> Very quick with this. Do you want me to stick in it together? Well, you could do if you I wanted. I can do that for if you want. Well, that Just would can, be yeah. lovely. You that's can do that. that. That's so handy having you with yeah. me. Absolutely. Thank you very you give much, me Craig. You want and I can stick. Do you want to put all the black ones together? Yeah, of course I can. Thank you, and I'll put all the white ones together. You're just forming them in the same way that you've done that colourful one. Yes, yes, yeah, exactly the same. Because I mean, obviously, this is a gift box, and so you can, so you wouldn't put like earlier on today. I closed all the sides down because I wanted it to all stick together. But and if you look how it is, that's your flap that's going to be the bit that either sticks over the top mm -hmm. or sticks on the inside. Because we have said that before, Craig, you can have it either way. So we're going to stick these on the inside this time. This morning, I did it on the outside. Okay, um, so I'm just going to stick together my um, panels, so to speak. Um, and if you think about when you're bringing that over, um, I'm not going to stick those two pieces down. I'm going to just stick these two pieces down. Because earlier on today, I did show you that you could do that. Do you know, I've lost my own... Oh, it's there, the straight tape. Let me just put... Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 it's not. I was thinking then, no, 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 I thought I'd throw that in the bin. Uh, because I'm just going to stick one of the panels down. So if I bring this in... And on the other side, because what I want to do now is have a little bit of gift box option. So I'm not going to stick it all down because I want it just to be able to lift. So I've got all this space in between. Um, so that's how I'm going to do it with this. Although Debbie's just realised I haven't stuck that flush. That's always important to remember when you're popping it together, visually look at it. Uh, but yeah, you can stick it down. But what, what enables you, it just means that you're going to have a little bit of a limited opening. Whereas I want the full opening this time. So just those two front panels. And again, I'm just, I've just used tape. Okay. And what they do say, and we do, we do recommend that you decorate this before. So you put all your things on. However, I did say we're going to put it onto the roll up feature this time. That's so right. I'm going to decorate it after. Okay. Um, because in, in your little instruction booklet, it says to you um, about popping it in and doing all your decoration while mm -hmm. it's in its flat form. However, do you know what I talked about the waste? Yes. Yeah. We don't want any waste with these, uh, with your papers. So if you start doing it and then you've got to remember we're going to be sticking these bases down onto something. You just want to make sure that if you are decorating, keep your bottom clear. Clear. <laughs> <laughs> I know what I mean when so I say some, these ways. There's some words. ways you just can't get around I it. Just can't get around it. Yes, you don't want to be covering your bottom up. That don't sound well. right either. But I know what I mean. I know what I mean. I mean, how do you cover your? How do you? How do you get around that word, Craig? Um, cover your bottom. Clean bottom. There, there, I don't think there is space, a way. Space, space, yeah. Mm -hmm. Clean base, thank you very much. Nicholas, you're shouting base, 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 base in me ear. 
<laughs> so now I've got my three boxes and they've all got the liftable element. But again, if you wanted to seal them down, you absolutely Sorry, could do as well. Sorry, I did stack a couple of bit of diesel. Oh, it's fine. We can stick that down. We'll stick it down. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Because I, I do it myself, Greg. Um, I get carried away and then I end up sticking all mm -hmm. the tabs down. But uh, yeah, if you, it depends on the box opening that you want. But we'll, we'll stick that one down. It's absolutely fine. Now, with your template, you're going to use your template to create. And, and, and literally, I've done this on an A3 piece of cardstock and then I've been able to put all the bases in so the actual measurement for this one and I'll give you the measurement it actually measures at 16 and a half by 6 um, and I'm just popping my score lines back in because um, I think I flattened it in trans in, you know in transport yeah I think it's got a bit flattened so I'm just going to pop those back into there you can measure this because there are again these options that you can do with this one as well you can add um, that small template in to create a different style but what I want to do is create somewhere for all my boxes now to sit okay so that's going to be the inner part that's going to roll round it's going to be like a casing so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stick and I'm going to do um, I'm going to do a white one at one end mm -hmm. so i'm going to start at this end and i'm going to stick my base down onto that inner panel like so so the bit the actual base of it and if i give you the correct measurement it's actually two and a quarter by six is what it is uh, but i'll use I'll, I'll do it i'll do it again with this and i'm Easy. just going to do onto all panels it's so just one, such two, a great three. project to make when you do the roll up aspect of yeah it. Absolutely. So that's number five. I want you to keep this one clear. I don't want you doing anything with uh, this to be one. Your tab, right. Because I've done it before, Craig. <laughs> got carried away and then thought, uh oh, I've only got six, seven, seven won't work. And then I'm thinking, oh no, oh, no. I've now made a sticky end and I don't want a sticky end. Um, but we'll do the decoration in a second. What I'm just going to show you is again, is just how you attach. Um, wet glue, if you're more comfortable with wet glue, absolutely use your wet glue onto there as well. Uh, but you're literally there, and I'm just going to alternate the colours. So we're going to alternate and we're going to stick them side by side into those panels. And like I said, if you want to use your wet glue where you've got a bit of wiggle time, absolutely do that. I've just used this because time is run. I can't believe it. It's flowing Every in, hasn't blinking it? Every blinking time. It runs away with us, doesn't it, Craig? It does. Um, so I'm just doing it for speed. Don't yeah. worry about these at the moment. We'll sort that out afterwards. And to be fair, when it rolls itself up, and I'm not going to do that, Craig, because I'll end up sticking that down. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, be careful. Be careful. Um, but yeah, um, Wet glue, whatever glue, whatever you feel comfortable with. And I'm, I always line it up to that end and then stick that down so that I know it's fitting into there. And then that's all you're doing. That's you're just all. alternating. Cool it's that. as easy as that. But it creates the biggest wow factor of any gift box I've ever given to anybody. Um, and if I just bring in... Imagine, because you're doing a, you're alternating with the black and white. Can you I've imagine just done doing, it so you can see it, yeah. Yeah, can you imagine doing like one red, one yellow, one yeah. blue, one green, like a rainbow or something, the way that that forms Ooh, together? Oh, rainbow, I like that idea. That'd be fab. Uh, and this is the thing, look how strong that glue is, Craig. I, I realised I'd miscalculated my fold. Um, I, ca I heard the tur, the tur, the tur, the when you hear the tur, you're like, no, no, no. Now, I'm going to go up there and then again, worry about these in a second because we're going to push, they'll, they'll go in and they'll close themselves in. And if you want, you can pop a little um, hook and eye on each one of those. Personally, myself, I wouldn't be wasting them. Uh, but I'm going to tuck each one of those in. And as you roll it through, you'll see now how it starts to come together. So let me just make sure I've got those. There we go. Just to say, Eleanor, so to actually create this, you will need your larger plates yes. for this one here. It won't yeah. fit through the, the midi. The yeah. little embellishment dies well, but the actual worker die itself, no, you will need your larger machine. So before I start decorating, what I wanted to do was just get it into its form. And then, again, once you're happy so with cool. it, you can then just give it this. And I, that's why I've done it in black and white, so you could see it a bit clearly. Um, and I'm pushing all those pieces in, and I'm just giving it a nice rub around with all my hands to get to create that warmth and again to stick that down now if you're using a wet glue you're gonna have to let it dry before you get to that stage because mm -hmm. the wet glue especially if you're using a um, all-purpose we all know we call it the wiggle glue we call it that for a reason and it will wiggle around so what I would say is make sure that you leave it flat leave it to dry wait it put some glue pots in there wait it down until it's dried but now you can see how easy was that to put together so easy it so really easy is. and really effective and the only thing there that you're then going to do which is what I've done with them is I have literally and this is why I did the uh, decoration 
on because it's going on the outside. It's not going on the inside. So if I just bring this in for a second, and all I'm going to say is with your hook and loops, so if I come in now and pop those on, and I'll just, let me just peel that back a bit. Let me peel them off. Is it hook and loop? Hook and loop. Hook and loop. Have we decided what it's called? I think is yeah, it hook and loop? Could be any hook and loop. Well, belt, what you're going to do is decide where, uh, how many you're going to put on there. Um, so you would stick them on to maybe three. Do you think three? You could do three. Could do three. And then when take take off your double sided adhesive because they are adhesive these. And then you just attach it. And then when you when it's all settled down, and I'm just going to bring it in because I've just seen the time. So I'm going to speed that bit up because all I've done, Craig, with this is I've used that these decorative awesome. panels. I've used copper. I've used black. I've used some of the decorative. And when I say decorative panels, the panel everything's on there from the foliage parts. The only difference that I've done is well you. Know how much I love this collection. You do. Yep. I love the timeless butterflies, so I had to use that. That's the timeless butterflies, that's the panels. All the panels are there, solid ones, so you can create the solid mats. Just use contrasting colours, and that's all I've done with that. I've used black, I've used white, and I've used that gorgeous from that beautiful, do you know that pearlescent double sided? Mm -hmm. That's it, well, that's what that is. Ooh. It's from that beautiful double sided Ooh. 12 by 12. And I haven't had to cut anything out because the dies are in there. So once you've decided, and that's why I've done it on the outside, if you want to decorate the inside, you absolutely can. So you can really go to town and really decorate the inside as well. But once you've done it, I mean, oh, it creates awesome. the most awesome one. I mean, I absolutely love this particular um, die because of the fact that you can create the one. Or you can, and that's what we did at Wake Up Call, or you can create that beautiful, and again, outside panels on their side, they're all on the um, die set. The die, die set, set. Yeah. that's the word I'm looking for, Craig. Uh, so yeah, you can get as creative as you want. You can keep it to the one, you can keep it to the six. Um, just enjoy it, mm -hmm. absolutely enjoy it. I've done, it. I've done it one before where I think I did a three. I think if I remember right, I did a three and I curled three up together. Um, if I remember rightly, I think I've done that on a, a show before. Uh, but we've got tons of tuition. Um, you're getting a great deal with the showstopper. I mean, how many different box dies are in there? We never touched on the shadow box die because we literally only managed to get through <laughs> just a couple, as you do. Um, so, yes, let me move that one out of the way. Shall we do a quick vote? Yeah, let's do it, where, where, where did we start? So we, we started with number started, one. That's it. Couldn't yeah. remember. Number one. Number two. Yep. Number three. And number four. Perfect. You decide. Ooh. So George is uh, betting his uh, yearly wage on number four. Um, I'm going to do number one. I'm going to bet. I'm going to bet Ben's multi-million pound yearly wage on number <laughs> one when it comes to that one there. So one, two. Let me say it that way so you can see. Three. Oh no no. Oh, no three or four. You decide. Up to you. Uh, Rightio, uh, Chantel, uh, my plaid pad. What would it be? Or you're asking what would it be when it comes to the layered? It's funny enough. It's purple and black. It's layered, it is indeed. Chantel's also saying, yay, studio craft along. And uh, we've got a lot, lot of love coming in for that. Lois is saying that box is gorgeous, Debbie. Thank you so, so much. Well, you're more than welcome. Right, before we end the show, we've got some photos come through. Michelle sent one in. Look at these concertina oh, border dies. I Isn't love that beautiful? That. You see, that's the thing about those dies. They're absolutely fabulous for those home decor pieces and Definitely. those really personal touches. They really um, are. Beautiful, absolutely what beautiful. Great way. And then, I think what she's done is used a craft along for what Jan's done. I know, uh, I think I've done a craft along months and months, I think when the first launch, to be honest with you. But I think she's taken inspiration from one that Jan has done. Now you've got your friends, like you are far, far, far too few. Aww. She's used that for the centre. Really lovely how you can mix and match our products, of course. We say that all the time, but that's a prime example that Michelle's shown us there. And in actual fact, and Michelle's even just used the corner concertinas, and yes, it gives you yeah. that option. You've got the option if you want to use just the corners or all. It's up to you. And then Clark's been busy. There we go. And Clark, look at that. So it's for her son and oh. her wife for photos of their holidays. Oh, is it? 
It's my craft along, Craig. Uh, look at that. It's my little folio, my little album. Oh. oh, I can't. Oh my God, look what? Look at the inside. I know, look at it. Oh my Lord, Anne. Isn't Thank that you fab? for sharing. That is beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, I bet they treasure that. Bet they do. Yeah. Bet they do. I've got, is that hunky dory papers? It is because I've got them. There was the, the world pattern papers, yeah. Yep. Gorgeous. I've got them. It was adorable, scorable, A4 in size. Anyway, Anne, that is absolutely gorgeous. And she's a cardstock too. Not that much. It's lovely seeing what you make with our products. And I know that uh, your son and wife are going to love that. Keep the memories going when it comes to their travels. And that's what we love about craft alongs. And not just craft alongs, just any of the projects that we do. And I know I say this every now and again. And I know Debbie will say it. And we'll all like to say it as well. Please, please, please. You know, you are more than welcome to replicate everything that we do to the exact T. I know sometimes we'll get messages saying, oh, can I, can I do exactly what you've done? Of course you can. If you want to change it, you can do. If you want to copy what we do, that's what they're here for. Do whatever you want to give you that idea and inspiration. But demo of the show. Okay. Now, this one was very close. Okay. Number one was very close. Okay. But the winner is, it goes into Number four. Number, number four. four. Look at George doing the lap of honour in me in me ear there. Number four, uh, the beautiful. I showed you how to construct it. That was my decorated one. Uh, so thank you very much because it is a, it's a it's a lovely project. They're all being lovely projects. Mm -hmm. um, I'm really been. happy that I got to be able to show you how to do that one. Uh, but yeah, really nice. Uh, love. I want to help. It's been a, kind of a different kind of a box making class uh, masterclass, should we say? I hope you've enjoyed it just as much as we have. Uh, we're off to go and have a little bit of a break now, though. Well, I'm Indeed, yes. A little bit of break, but we'll see you at two hours time. Uh, two hours time, two hours yeah. Break, yeah. We're yeah. going to be back, of course. So we're going to be launch party, launch party, of course. We're going to have a look at, um, well, usually we'll look at products that have just launched. You know what's <laughs> happened as of late. They've gone, uh, come and gone. We're going to be having a look at a few relatively new items. We're going to give you a little bit of a sneak peek as well. Is that a couple of things coming on? And then we're just going to have some gorgeous demonstrations from Debbie when it comes to launch party. So yeah, if you are watching live, you're going to be back in a couple of hours. Please remember, check out that pick of the day. It is there on the website. They are only there for 24 hours when it comes to the deal configuration. There is options there if you want that smaller bundle, but when you tally up that value with that saving that you are getting, it is absolutely exceptional. Taking into account your Club Inspire on top of that, it really is a win-win. But as we like to do, we like to give you options. That's there. You're going to save 60% over 60% on today's pick of the day and then you can always go back add this show that Debbie's just been doing right now onto your playlist that you can go back to time and time again maybe you've already got the products and you just need that little bit of additional inspiration well it's there for you but yes we're going to take a little bit of a break thank you very much Rachel uh, it's going to be Susie later on so we'll see Susie later on and we'll see you later on as well see you shortly